Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to outline images in Adobe Illustrator. This method is perfect for making cute stickers or printing out on cardstock and cutting around the image. So let's go ahead and get started. I got this cute clip art from Freepik. It is free for personal and commercial use, but please read and comply with the license if you choose to use the same clip art. I'll leave a link to the clip art set in the description. I'm using Adobe Illustrator today because it is my professional software of choice. It's easy to work with and also a vector based program, which means my artwork will turn out high quality and not pixelated. I can also do a tutorial on Inkscape if that's what you guys would like, but for today's tutorial, I'm just going to use Illustrator. So here are the files that you get with the download. I'm going to use the .ai file because I have Adobe Illustrator. So I just double click to import into Illustrator. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the purple background because I don't want to use that. I then click on the image and right click to ungroup. I choose my first image and make two copies of it. One is for the shadow and one is for the actual image. Now I select one of the copies and go to Pathfinder. If your Pathfinder is not showing in the side panel, just like mine is, go up to Window and then select Pathfinder to pull it up. With all layers selected, click Unite and this will join everything together, making it one layer. As you can see, it is the same size still, so we need to add a stroke. To do this, click on the image and come up to stroke and start clicking the up arrow until you have a border that you're happy with. For this one, I'm doing 20 points. As you can see though, there is a red line in the middle of my image. If I was to save this now, my stroke would not stay and my image would be the original size again, so I need to expand it. To do this, go up to Object, Expand, and make sure Fill and Stroke are ticked before selecting OK. This has now expanded the lines. From here, I need to join all the lines showing in the image, so go up to Pathfinder again and select Unite. And now you will see you have a shadow layer that is ready to use. I change the color to white so it looks like a traditional sticker outline. Now you can select the two images and align them to the center. This is one image complete, and from here I go ahead and do the same steps to the other bubble tees. So that's how you can add a shadow to images in Illustrator. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to show you how I print and cut these on a Cricut. If you have any questions, please let me know. Subscribe to see more videos just like this one. And if this video has helped you, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.